right. Uh, sorry, I, I got interrupted there for a moment. Sorry there, I, I got a little interrupted for the moment. I was excited for PT, as I may have mentioned last night, and I had everything set out and ready to go. I had all my uniform ready. In fact, I had my keys to my scooter, my wallet, and my mask all in the pocket of the jacket ready to go. And in fact, I had already walked my battery down to my scooter and plugged it in so that I could be ready to go. This paid off and didn't pay off. When I went down there, I got down there really fast. I had shaved last night as well. I had combed my hair before I went to bed so that it maintained its shape. So I was able to just throw on my stuff and run out. I got down there in maybe four minutes, three minutes, something like that. And that's pretty good for someone who had barely woken up. At least for me, who had barely woken up. I got down there, got on the scooter, started it up, started to drive, and realized I had half battery. That was concerning, because I had to make it all the way to a different gym, because for today's PT, we did something different. Thank goodness, I made it all the way, I just had to go incredibly... <clears throat> Thank goodness, I made it all the way, I just had to go incredibly slow. Made it there with okay-ish time, I was 20 minutes late, I think, in total. And we got right into the PT. In fact, I was I got right into the PT, they were already going through it. And it was a strange kind of, I suppose it would be not CrossFit, but it was a weighted exercise session that my company, it was a weighted exercise session that my company commander, my captain, had paid for. It was very intense. It had music going the whole way through, and it lasted from 6 a.m. all the way to nearly 7.30 so it was a long and it was a hard PT session, but it was fun because it was different. And luckily I wasn't in too much trouble for getting there late because they knew I busted my butt trying to get there on time and they knew it was an accident. So they, I think I got off the hook for this one. I honestly shouldn't have because I've been a few minutes behind on just about everything lately, but they know why I've been a few minutes behind because I've been sleeping like garbage and everything. So I was very, very grateful that they just let that slip. Now, after PT, I was planning to get on my scooter and go back to the room and work on my video, the UNC video. But unfortunately, that's not how things panned out. Unfortunately for one of my Katusas, he caught COVID from somewhere. We don't know where. That requires our unit to do a contact trace in which every single member of the unit gets a COVID test. And then quarantines for the entire day. I had a meeting with a major at 11. Naturally, this threw a wrench into the works quite significantly, but luckily, for some reason, I was semi-competent on my feet for some reason, and I got across to the major quite quickly. Hey, I'm not going to be there. Would it be... Would it be possible for me to export the video, send it to you, and call you over some kind of Google Meets or something? And I set that up, got it sorted out, and I thought we were also going to a gas chamber today at 9.30, which I had previously contacted the chemical specialists for and made sure that my coworker and I were being front-loaded. We were no longer going to the gas chamber because, you know... that so that was gone too so all of my previous like good smooth planning and like handling of situations out the window good luck stay in your room got my test of course it was negative headed back home was amazed that my scooter still had battery immediately put it on the charger and just started editing like crazy i was going through every website i could find digging through anything like Honestly, at this point, I had given up on taking good photos or anything from the internet. I was taking stuff that was probably 240p, which, if you don't know what that is, go into the little, like, go into the little box, where was it, uh, right about there-ish in the video, where it's a gear, and then click video quality, and then click 240 and give it a second. Then you'll get an idea of the kind of video I was putting up. Not great, but it was video, and I was able to make the video complete 
in terms of no black space all the way up until I think like eight minutes, 45 seconds or something, which was a lot because we were only at like four minutes and 20 seconds before. So I did a lot of digging for a lot of random stuff. I did a lot of cleaning up and I still missed very crucial, important things, but I fixed them on the fly while I was in the meeting. I say meeting because what actually happened was when the time rolled around and the video was shared with him, exported everything, yada yada, he watched it and then didn't get back to me. So I texted him 10 minutes later. No response. So I texted him 10 minutes later. Later. No response. So I texted him 20 minutes later. Later. And I ended up getting a response from him I think at like 2 p.m. or something because I think he went home or had a meeting or something. He, he had important stuff to do. When I say went home, I mean like went home for lunch. Not just went home like, bye. No, he's a good guy. He just is a very, very busy guy. So I understood that he was doing stuff. But for a good hour, I was just sitting there like, what do I do? Because I was waiting for a call for a guy who's been in the military for probably 75 to 90% of the time I've been alive. And you don't want to miss that guy's call. So I was sitting on the couch back there. Have you guys seen the couch in a while? It's back there. There's the couch. There it is. A little bit of beige there. I was sitting back there on that couch, just kind of sitting, waiting, wishing, forward slash, hoping this guy would call. He didn't. But when he finally did get across me, he was like, hey, I'd rather not do this over a phone call. I'd rather do it in person and pick it apart frame by frame and go through everything. Uh, and we just scheduled for Tuesday because... It's a four-day weekend. I didn't know that until like four hours ago. Cool. So I have the day off tomorrow, and the day off after that, and the day off after that, and the day off after that. Pretty cool. That means that I'm going to try to edit this video really, really fast and get it done. Luckily, I haven't made too much work for the editor, I don't think. From what I'm remembering, there's like three things so far. So editing me, please don't be angry at me this time. By the way, I should say, editing me and recording me very different people. Very different. <laughs> Recording me wants to make a 33 minute long video with just gimmicks everywhere, music through the full thing, and like sound effects and video effects and transitions and everything. Editing me is barely bothered to cut out the burps and the silence. <coughs> uh, and usually just and usually just cuts things together and puts, you know, cross transitions or whatever they're called on there. Y'all be grateful for him, because otherwise this video would be, well, my original videos. <laughs> Alright, so, we are up to the point where I got contact back from him. Yep, so after I got contact back with him, I continued to dig around on the video a little bit, kind of poke at stuff, but... To be honest, I have had a stress migraine for the last three days. I have not been sleeping well at all. My whole body aches. I'm tired and beat. I'm sore because I've done nothing but dig on this thing. And every time I try to relax by playing video games, to be honest, all the time I put into there, it's poisoned by the fact that I should be doing something more productive. But, ugh. I can't wait for this to be done. For me to actually be able to relax. And I took a step towards that today by actually giving the computer away to my coworker because I've had the computer for the last, I think, over a week of just dealing with this video. So I said, hey, I need you to pick up some slack for me. I'm, I'm sorry, but I need to step away from this because I am sick of looking at it. And he was, he was accommodating. He said he'd grab it. He said he'd poke at it. I think, honestly, if he does poke at it, if he puts maybe three hours into it, the video would probably be done. <laughs> like, we are really, really close. We just need to plug this stuff in and find the stuff to plug in and then put some music to it. That's the most exciting part for me. But we ma we we're making progress on it, and things were done today. So after I gave it away to him, I played some Grand Theft Auto, and to be honest, after having this crazy semi-productive day, it felt okay. I, I really didn't do anything big, and the things I did do kind of didn't work out. I didn't do anything all that exciting or all that fun, but just turning my brain off for a little bit and not being stressed out and, you know, taking three Advil. <laughs> uh, 
Um, it, it did help with the headache, so I don't have one of those now. It's not all that late. It's 736, so I still stand a good chance of being able to edit this out somewhat quickly. The internet has been good to me today, so it was a good day. I went shopping. Luckily, the commissary actually had milk. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys a picture of how empty it was. It was restocked today, so thank goodness. I went to the commissary, got some milk. I actually picked up something called a Quake Bar, which is like a protein bar, but it was birthday cake flavor. Let me know if that's one of the things you want me to try on this video. Speaking of things you wanted me to try on this video... This is what I first thought would be a giant goldfish. I bought this when I was coming back home for Christmas, and I wanted treats for my family. This one's got a little bit of white funkiness on it. I'm pretty sure that's sugar. I'm just going to excuse that. They are a squishy sponge cake with a filling shaped like a fish. It has nothing other than the fact that it is shaped like a fish to do with a fish. And they're actually quite good. A little bit of milk with it. In the Milwaukee mug. Milk in the Milwaukee mug. That's a pretty easy title right there, actually. So, chocolate filling. Extremely squishy. Kind of bounces back a little bit. It's, it's like a really thick Twinkie. And the filling is much thinner. And it's chocolate. But that's the closest thing I can compare it with that's American. Pretty good. I'd say 7 out of 10 snack. It's going to fill you up, and it actually doesn't make you feel like you're eating a whole bunch of sugar. So, recommended. I have no idea what they're called, but if you see anything that says this on it in your next travels to Korea, give it a shot. It's pretty good stuff. You don't expect to be able to buy little cakes like this, but when you think about, like, you know, Twinkies, Zingers, Ho-Ohs, Ho-Hos? I can't remember what they're called. In America, we have them too. But Korea has them. And they're a little bit better. Mm. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this with some milk. As I edit this video. Whatever time it is for you in this delicious, spongy world of ours, whether it be a good morning, a good afternoon, a good evening, or a good night that you may be currently experiencing, I do sincerely hope it's good. I really do. Also, I keep getting comments that that sounds like The Truman Show. It absolutely is inspired by The Truman Show. I just wanted to make it different. And by different, I mean incorrect. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. This has been Overlord Pop-Tart. Really appreciate you sticking around. I'll see you in the next one. Stay frosty. Ow. Hmm.